Burritos, burritos, burritos. Many of us know what a burrito is, but have you ever heard of a smothered burrito? We set out to find the perfect burrito, and people in the Mile High City believe that they do it best. A smothered burrito is, um, you just have your regular burrito with your tortilla and whatever you want on your inside. And then you just smother green chili or red chili, and usually cheese. And then sometimes you can put fresh lettuce and tomato, sour cream or guacamole on the side. Yeah, I mean, every Mexican restaurant I've ever been to in Denver always has a smothered burrito or smothered Mexican hamburger. You might consider the smothered burrito a rare gem because it's a burrito that you can't find just anywhere, at least not on the East Coast or in the Midwest. Actually, Colorado happens to be one of the handful of states that serves up the smothered goodness. From being up in the Midwest in Wisconsin, um, they had no idea what green chili was. No idea. They just figured it was some type of foreign food. It really is the flour-based sauce that makes the smothered burrito one of a kind. Jaime's Mexican restaurant in Denver knows that that's what sets them apart. Well, I do feel like every state is a little different. Um, if you go to, down to New Mexico, you're getting like a different type of green chili than what we serve here and what we know is like, the, like our green chili. And ours is a real, like, it's a gravy kind of smother that goes over all of our food and everybody like enjoys it on top of everything. Some might argue that these burritos aren't real Mexican food and more of a Tex-Mex dish more than anything else. And that's all up for debate. But for some who grew up in Colorado, smothered food has always been a part of their Latino experience. Coming from, you know, uh, Trinidad, my grandparents, uh, my grandmother always cooked Mexican food. My grandmother always had the spicy. She loved her Mexican you know, beans and chili, fresh homemade tortillas. But she smothered it. Yeah, but she always smothered it, you know. She smothered and, a burrito, smothered an enchilada with, mm -hmm. a, with red chili. Yeah, so everything was always smothered. Although the recipes for burritos and chili changes from state to state and restaurant to restaurant, it's safe to say that the green chili that's offered in Colorado is incomparable to others. Just this week I sent uh, four gallons of green chili to North Carolina because she came here, she tried it, she loved it, and she wanted us to fly some to her. So I definitely do feel like it's mission accomplished, like we're doing what we set out to do. It's just the way that we do it here in Colorado is special to us. We're sure that burrito fans in other parts of the country may think that theirs is better. But here in Colorado, generations have grown up believing that nothing says burrito love like a spicy, creamy, chili-infused blanket of smothered goodness. And well, if you don't believe us, we dare you to come try. You can't eat a burrito that's not smothered. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.